Yeah, how's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of Maryland's Pokemon Fire Red Wedlock. Last time, I beat Giovanni, the final gym leader, and since then, I've gotten done the training that I was talking about. It took another two hours, maybe two and a half. I think it was like two. It wasn't actually quite as bad as I thought, but it still took some time. Oh, uh, where did I train? Well, turns out, in fact, I'll actually show you really fast, just because it's right around the corner here, and I know I could just pop on my bike, but I don't have it registered. And you go about as fast running, because the bike is so bad in this generation. Okay, so here's where I was training. Yeah, I know, I'm on my bike now. This guy has a wheezing, a coughing, and a wheezing at level 28. This guy has a wheezing at level 33. They actually give a lot of experience. So I was fighting them, and I was also still fighting the bird keepers down on Route 18. They were both very helpful for training, depending on which Pokemon I was using. Okay, so... It is time. It is time to face my fate. Wait, except I don't want to go to Viridian City! Because you know what? There was a reason I went to Celadon City, and that's because, thanks to the amulet coin, I made a whole bunch of money, so I should have enough to buy a few TMs that I need. Or, well, yeah, that I need. Let's be real. We need them right now. Oh, man. I was thinking so hard about that Gyarados and about that fight against Q. I am really worried about that because look how the last fight went. I do have an answer to Charizard, but I don't have an answer to Gyarados. And let's just say I've had a few times where not having an answer to Gyarados is a very bad thing. So, let's see. I need to buy a bunch of coins with all this money. I want to get Thunderbolt for Gyarados. I can handle that thing with Thunderbolt. And, as it would turn out, Tan can learn it. So, yeah. I also want to get Ice Beam. So, let me go ahead and do this. I will save you this boredom. <laughs> or this boring... I'll just wait till I get the 8,000 coins. Okay, 8,000 coins. Great. There are a few things I might want to get on top of that. Like, I wouldn't mind teaching... Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't mind having a TM for Ice Beam available for Pumpkin, actually. Just in case. And surprisingly, Khaki can learn Thunderbolt. I don't know why, but it wouldn't be a bad backup option. Okay, so I need... I need Thunderbolt. Yes, I need that for Gyarados. I know it's pretty unideal on Kangaskhan, but I think it'd be better than nothing, to be honest. All right, and then Ice Beam. That's a definite must for Turquoise. Okay, so I also do kind of want to get Shadow Ball on Pumpkin. Yeah, I should probably do that. In fact, actually, for that matter, I was looking over the TMs. There are a few TMs that I know I'm going to need. I know I'm going to need strength. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and teach strength right now to Pumpkin. My goal is to remove this after I go into the uh, Pokemon League. We really don't need Pursuit. Like, we really don't. It's so bad with your low special attack. I know Ice Beam is bad too, but, you know, it might help out against, like, Dragonite or something. You never know. It's an option. It's not necessarily something I need. I'd much rather have Shadow Ball, but we need someone with strength in order to get through. So we might as well teach it to you. Now, I also do have Return. I have Earthquake. I have quite a few TMs that, you know, I'm kind of saving. And I guess the time has kind of come to use them up, right? Steel Wing. You know what? I completely forgot about this. I could teach that to Beige. I was having a real tough time trying to find a good move for Beige. Because, unfortunately, Dodrio do not learn a lot of moves. Like, again, we have that same problem with Pursuit. It's just really bad. Really bad. And not really that, you know, Steel Wing is any better, but, like, this is really bad. Look at that attack. You have outrageous attack. I absolutely cannot believe how high your attack stat is. It's... Absolutely crazy. You're a monster, Beige. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess I could teach Steel Wing if I really wanted. I don't think it's really gonna matter for right now, though. So we're not gonna bother. Yeah, I think it's gonna be Turquoise and Tan in this fight. Alright, let's go ahead and... 
Uh, I mean, I guess we're probably fine on everyone else. I do want to get Rock Slide, perhaps, on Khaki. I think that'd be good. But I want to make sure Khaki will survive Victory Road. I think we'll be fine. There's nothing really that threatening in Victory Road itself. If I recall. Um, we're going to get rid of Dig. It's nice and all, but we can easily buy that back anytime. All right, so... There, <laughs> you forgot Dig. Now think really, really hard. Okay, there we go. Now we have an answer to Gyarados. And we need an answer to other things. Oh, I do have Blizzard. That could be an interesting option. Perhaps on Pumpkin as sort of a last resort. Okay, Turquoise. You definitely want Ice Beam. All right, let's get rid of... We don't really need either Agility or a smoke screen. Honestly, we're gonna get rid of agility. I know smoke screen isn't what you guys want to see. I don't blame you. But we're never really going to have a situation we need agility. You've been out speeding like everything anyway, so I think this is fine. All right, think really, 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 really hard. There we go, now you got ice beam. Okay, so we will come back for the other TMs when we're kind of in the final stretch. Because again, I've used up some really useful TMs like Psychic. I can't get those back because someone died. And yeah, that's why, you know, I kind of would rather just see how this fight goes before I make my final decisions here. Because some of these TMs are one-time use. That's all I get. And I could buy a few more like Dig and Brick Break, but things like Earthquake, I don't get another shot with that. Okay, so we need to take on Pidgeot. I'm pretty sure this guy leads with Pidgeot. So Turquoise is just gonna have to go in there with Ice Beam, I guess, and hope for the best. I mean, yeah, that's definitely gonna do more than with you. Although I could go for Fake Out and just Dizzy Punch it. That might... I think Thunderbolt would do a little bit more. Although that fake out, that might be just enough damage. Uh, well, we'll, we'll probably be fine. Oh, I have to 100% sure make sure I change that back because otherwise I'm going to be in a world of hurt. I was, I was trying to keep it on set while training because it really does speed it up. But if I forget about that, it is bad news. Oh man, all right. Here we go. I am very nervous about this fight. Let's do this. What? Color? What a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League. You collected all the badges, too. That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Color, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on! All right, here we go. Rival Hugh wants to battle. Yeah, and he's got a rather formidable team. Okay, so let's just have Turquoise handle everything like he always does. And it's enough to take out Pidgeot, thank goodness. But that's not really the biggest threat I'm concerned about. Uh, execute. Um, yeah, you know what? I have Shadow Ball, right? I think you have it, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I might as well hit this thing with Fake Out. I'm pretty sure I'd be able to knock it out, but lately you've been running into some bad luck when it comes to taking things out, Tan, so forgive me for not entirely trusting in you. All right, there we go. I mean, we get the Fake Out for free anyway, so we might as well use it. Alakazam! Alright, that is exactly what I need you here for. And you outspeed it. That's... kind of surprising, to be honest. Oh, nice crit! It probably didn't matter, but it feels good. Okay, where's the really scary stuff? Rhyhorn. That is not really scary. Not at all. Ugh. So I know the remaining two of his Pokemon. They're what I'm really afraid of. Charizard and Gyarados. 
I guess I was a little afraid of that Alakazam too, but I figured it would outspeed me and actually do damage, but yeah, it didn't. Okay, there's Gyarados. Hopefully, Tan will be able to use Thunderbolt and take this thing out. Oh, it's only level 45. That's actually not that high. Uh, again, we might as well go for a fake out. This thing has deceptively high special defense. There have been times where I'm like, oh, let's use Thunderbolt, and it isn't enough for some reason. Okay, so that's out of there. Now we need to get revenge, all right? This is what we need. We need revenge for yellow and cream. Turquoise, you need to handle this, Charizard. I want only the best of revenge. Oh, man. Yeah, that thing's level 53. Oh, it's fast. It's fast. But it went for Flamethrower, which is very strong, and we have a serious problem. If this does not knock out Charizard, we are in very bad shape. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! No! Not like this! Not like this! What? What? There's no way! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Are you serious? This thing is a monster! I should have gone for Hydro Pump. I should have taken that chance, although I probably would have missed. Are you serious? What? One hit point? Blaze is going to activate! Uh... I have to just hope? Come on, Turquoise! Hang in there! No! This can't be happening! This Charizard is the bane of my existence! Tan, you will get your revenge! There's no way around that. You jerk! You jerk! Oh my gosh! Wow. Turquoise! What? I was just careless, you! I can't believe it! One hit point! That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Color, you need more practice, but hey. You know that, I'm out of here, smell ya. There is just, there's no words. I have no words, what the heck? Here I was thinking, oh well maybe this is gonna be too easy. Maybe level 50, nope. Yeah, that Charizard would have wiped my whole team had I not have had fake out. Cause, hold on, how much speed do you have? 111, oh I guess you would have outsped that, but still. Oh my gosh. Well, maybe not. I'm not even so sure, to be honest. Well, yeah, I guess Pumpkin outsped it in the past. Oh, what the heck? Turquoise! No, not like this! I'm just so sad. Oh no. Little Tan's without a father now! Oh. That is just so sad. I can't believe it. That Charizard has... How does it... I, I don't understand. That thing has been an absolute menace to me. That thing has been an absolute menace. What am I gonna do fighting against a level 65 Charizard? I think he uses a 65 Charizard in the final fight. Yeah. Remember when I was talking about that level limit and how it's, you know... <laughs> uh, yeah. That flamethrower was against a Pokemon that resisted it. Oh my gosh. I just don't even know right now. Alright, well... <sighs> it's that time. I can't believe it. 
Turquoise has been so good! He was an absolutely amazing Pokémon. So just to play it safe, I am going to deposit Turquoise because he has Surf, and you know what that means. Uh, yeah, it means he may try to come back, so we're gonna just put him here, and then we'll do everything. Alright, well, let's give one final look at Turquoise. Turquoise, you were definitely one of the most surprising Pokemon I've ever had. You were way more powerful than I ever thought you would be. Seriously, I never had used a Seedra before. I didn't exactly have high hopes, knowing that you wouldn't even be able to evolve into Kingdra, but time and time again you impressed me. I just can't believe that fire somehow beat water. Well, farewell, Turquoise. May Big Tan and Little Tan carry on without you. Oh, man. Well, that's that. So now I need to think of a replacement. How do I replace someone as awesome as Turquoise? Well, I'll tell you one thing, I know I'm going to need a water type. That much is a given. But I'll also tell you, I'm not evolving Iridescent into Vaporeon. I think that's just a little too much. I need something to handle. That darn Charizard! I just don't know what! I am so torn right now. Cyan might be an interesting option. I like that you have damp. <laughs> that could save my life, you never know, although I think we're past that. You know, as great as it'd be to use a dugong, I don't really think that's a good idea because... Oh, well, you do have thick fat, so never mind. Never mind, if you evolve into dugong, it actually wouldn't be a problem. Thanks to that thick fat, I was worried that, well, then that kind of gets rid of that resistance. Uh-huh. Well, okay, so with Thick Fat, I guess you're back on the table. A Dugong would be an interesting option. And then we have Kabuto. Or Kabutops, as it would be. Blocks critical hits. I like that already. Being a rock water type, I would not have to worry about Charizard in the slightest. But the problem with that is it gives me a unified weakness to fighting. But then again, the same could be said if I go with Teal versus Ekru. Hmm. And then we have Cerulean, who actually could be another very good option. I know that Tentacruel are pretty good. I definitely wouldn't have to worry about getting knocked out with Flamethrower. Oh man, there's so many options here. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't feel like making a decision right now. What I do feel like we need to do, uh, I do feel like we need to go further. Uh, 
I want to give this a lot of thought because this will make a difference, a big difference. But I feel like we have just enough time to at least make it to Victory Road proper. So yeah, we're not going to actually take on Victory Road. I'm going to have to do a lot of training. Oh man. So yeah, I'm definitely going to want to be on the higher end of what I was thinking. You know, I said maybe 56. We're not going in there before 57. Oh, that Charizard will melt me. Absolutely melt me. Um, okay, so, I mean, that's, that's how it is. We have to accept that, I guess. Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's go get a Pokemon over there. Now, just so it's clear, whatever Pokemon I get over here, I will not be able to pair with Goldenrod. Usually, you would want to pair things right away. Oh, that's the Boulder Badge, go right ahead. Like, usually that's just how you do things. And, you know, if you're playing your own challenge, that's great. I do recommend doing it that way. Uh, I don't have the luxury of just, like, stopping. Well, I mean, I guess I could say be right back and then spend a while looking at it. But, uh, typically the reason you'd want to pair right away is just so anything that you catch doesn't really count as a eligible Pokemon you could pair. Because you have to pair things with what you have in your PC at the moment. So, you know, right now, gender clause is not applying. I'm just kind of, for the sake of convenience, for the sake of let's do more in this episode rather than end it a little early, we are going to, uh, we're going to keep going. You can pass here only if you have the Cascade Badge. Oh, that is the Cascade Badge. Okay, then, please go right ahead. Uh, I don't really want to get a water encounter here. You can pass here only if you have the Thunder Badge. Oh, that's the Thunder Badge. Yep, okay. Well, they're saying pretty much the same things. Oh, look at this hidden item right here. A Lepa Berry. That could actually help. All right, I have the Rainbow Badge. Feels good to have all these badges. I am going to repel. Like I just... I think I just said that, right? Short-term memory. Uh, just because there are much more interesting encounters. We're just going to end up getting duped anyway. We don't really want a dupe encounter. It's just a waste. All right. Oh, shoot! I don't have anyone that can surf! <laughs> That's right! That's the other problem! Well, sounds like we're gonna have to give that a little bit of thought, aren't we? Uh-huh. Alright, well... We're gonna have to continue making our way to Victory Road on the next episode. I guess before I leave, let me fly back. We're going to, uh... I'm going to show you the PC really fast so you can give some input if you'd like. And I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, here's a look at my Pokemon before I, uh, before I leave here. I have the male Pokemon on top. I have the female Pokemon down in the bottom here. So just visually, you can kind of see... The options. Again, reminder, we cannot evolve you into Vaporeon or Jolteon. I guess another option to consider would be Citrin, actually. Because, you know, maybe he could take out... Maybe Charizard. But I don't know. I don't feel too safe with that, to be honest. Oh, man. All right. Well, give it some thought. It'll probably be a little bit. But we're on the final stretch, guys. In all likelihood, this will be the final team member. This will make up the final team. So that is, uh, that's a lot to consider here. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. And I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Fire Red Wedlock. See you next time, everyone.